What is up, YouTube? So, back at it with the deck builder. Um, this time we are going over one of my favorite decks. Um, as you guys saw a couple of days ago, I uploaded a new uh, deck profile showing off kind of a merger um, between both Greymon and Hybrid. Um, as of set 7 here in... When does 7 come out? I believe January, if I can remember right. Um, January or right at the end of January, something like that, um, those decks actually completely split apart and become their own entities. Um, and we're actually going to go over one of those now. Um, I can't go over the second one anytime, at least super soon, because we haven't gotten everything announced for hybrid just yet, and that's the one I'm really looking forward to, because Susano Amon's uh, image was announced. Um, we don't know what he does. We haven't actually seen the card image. We've just seen the art. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. So what we're going over is Red Greymon. Um, so we're going over from now at set five all the way to set seven for different um, different plays. Um, so we're going to start off with Coromon. Um, I think Coromon, any Greymon deck, is going to be a standard at four just because um, it auto draw one off anything that has Omnimon or Greymon in its name. It's amazing. Um, we get a Demi Miramon, which is actually kind of cool. Um, when this Digimon gets uh, attacks, it gets a thousand for the turn um, as long as it's attacking a player, which is great. Um, and then we've got three of the Tamer Search Agumon. Um, apparently, I didn't grab the alt art one, which is weird because I love grabbing the alt arts in this because, um, like, this and these are really expensive, and I'm not going to pick them up for anytime soon. Um, <laughs> and then so we have uh, three or four of the other Agumon, the one from BT5. Um, this one's the one where you're just searching anything with a Greymon in its name and anything with Omnimon in its name, adding both to hand on play um still a great card especially for anything greymon again i think he's going to be standard with anything with nokia agumon greymon anytime for the future um this one will be one that people don't have to run um i see it still being run but i don't see it being just run very heavily um is four of the promo agumon just for the fact that if it has greymon in its name gains 2000 problem with that is once it hits omnimon nixes out that plus 2000 um, and then the final two level t uh, level threes. Um, you also notice I'm not playing any of the two cost, which you guys know I stand by that normally. Um, I was going to until I remembered that there is a new level three blocker, Biomon. Um, a lot of times just that level three blocker can truthfully save a game. Um, just being able to like, say your opponent passes to you with two memory, you pass back to them by playing the Biomon. Um, that's great because then they're only starting with two memory and you now have a blocker. If they don't have a piercer, um, Biomon's great. So I, I personally love it. Um, and then we're going into the Greymon. Again, I'm not going to pick these up in person anytime soon, no matter how much of a fan of Greymon I am, because that thing is stupidly expensive. Um, but I'll show it off in a video. <laughs> um, easy Evo. Um, with Nokia, he's free. Um, but without Nokia, he's only a one cost level four, which is great. Um, and then you're also giving more plus 2000, but the difference between him and say this Agumon is this does include giving him to your Omnimon, which is great. Um, then four of the level four or the four of the level four, one cost blocker Monochromon. Monochromon's amazing. Uh, three of the security attack plus one Greymon. Again, we're playing Greymons all over the place, Metal Greymons. Um, that's literally the soul of the deck right now is basically just tie. Um, and then we've got four of the Alterius mode because real dumb that you can just stack these up on each other by paying one each and you're getting plus 2,000. Um, you can make an Omnimon ridiculously huge with this thing. Um, and so instead of playing the um, set one secret rare, I went ahead and chose to play this one um, because when you attack uh, a player, you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 or less. So not only are you swinging at a security, um, and this thing can be even bigger than 7k because you've got, say you've got under it, uh, this Agumon plus this Greymon right here, um, that's plus 4,000 more, so this thing becomes an 11k as only a five uh, level 5, which is great. Um, most of the time that's going to live, uh, the unlucky times, you're going to run into a 6 and a 7. <laughs> um, and then your turn, uh, while well, this Digimon has Machine or Dragonkin in its type, which, uh, I mean, a lot of this has Dragonkin or Dinosaur, um... 
which is great, uh, like dinosaur here, but then you've got into your dragon kin, um, which is what you want. You want these as your dragon kin. Um, since it's the source material, it's going to gain piercing, which is great. Um, then two of the BT5 Wargreymon popping a blocker for free when he evos is amazing. Um, and then when he has an evo on top, like your Omnimons over here, um, you get to pop one of your opponent's Digimon at 3k or less, um, which doesn't come up a lot as late, late game as I wish it did, um, but it can help a lot. Like if your opponent's sitting on something such as like these Beomons or a low cost blocker um, that they're wanting to kind of survive through. Um, it, you can not only pop that blocker, then you can swing over something they've got suspended. He's a piercer because of this guy. Things get kind of nuts. And then we now have a brand new Wargreymon from EX1. Um, he has Blitz, so he is just like the new Omnimon from BT5. He has Blitz. And then when this Digimon attacks player, if you have a Tamer in play, you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with Blocker. So you, this deck is basically just forcing its way through any and all blockers as fast as possible, getting these two on the table. Um, and then because of this having piercing, you're going to swing here, pierce, um, blo blow up a blocker, Evo into this monster right here, which we all know and love, um, and then blitz them again. So, I mean, you're just going to keep swinging and keep swinging, um, because if you don't pass turn off this, you're not going to need the blitz, and then you are going to pass turn off this if you've played this. Like, there's, no, I mean, unless you've got some good memory going on, that's not going to happen. Um, but we all know what this one does, and then we are playing the one of Omnimon X Antibody, which again, like the Agumons, I didn't grab the alt art, which is weird for me, because I love alt arts. Um, we all know what this does, he evo evos over an Omnimon for a cost 3, um, which again, with Nokia's, you can reduce that, it's great. Um, I personally like Transcendent Sword in this deck um, more than I do Gaia Force, just because it's one cost less, that can change a game a ton. Um, even that one memory not having to pass back to the opponent's turn. Um, and most of the time you're going to have Greymon on the table. I mean, literally Greymon, Greymon, Metal Greymon, Metal Greymon, War Greymons. Um, the majority of your deck all have Greymon names, so you're going to be able to get the 15k. Um, and then for your Tamers, we have the two Marcus. Um, Marcus is still great because you anything time you attack with something with Greymon in its name, you gain a memory um, by resting him. And then we all know what Nokia does. Um... Nokia is, is insane for Greymon um, or Gabumons, um, and just the fact that she is so free um, to play her for three, um, play this, like if you open her plus this Agumon and this Agumon, you're going to Evo here, draw one, play Nokia, play this for free, um, search your deck for the, t the Greymon, or reveal the top three, grab a Greymon, grab an Omnimon, whatever is there. Um, and add those to hand, and then you get to pass to your opponent's turn with so much advantage already just off of three cards, um, which is insane what Nokia can do for these decks. Um, personally, if you guys have any ideas, there is a red promo, and I will actually pull it up here for you guys real quick. Let's big screen. Come on. There we go. Um, pull this up here in promos. Um, I could not find the room for it, but if you guys have an idea for it, there is this guy coming out soon, uh, the Red Memory Boost. Um, and it's such a good card. I showed off the black version in my black deck profile with the Monkey. Um, I think these are going to be like staples in every deck. I just could not find the room. Um, so if you guys have an idea for two of them in here, um, Maybe dropping one of these War Greymon and maybe like one of these Metal Greymon or one of these. Um, I'm not sure, but let me know what you guys think of the deck profile. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, we have grown pretty pretty awesome. Um, I mean, it's almost been one subscriber a day for the last like 30 days, which is great. Um, thank you guys so much for your support recently. Um, it means the world to me. Um, because I want to be able to do more. Um, and the more people that subscribe, the more people that are watching, the more I can actually do. Um, and I can actually start doing even more physical deck profiles over things. Um, I'm going to do as many as I physically can every set. Um, but being a parent of two, uh, one starting school very soon, um, <laughs> is kind of gets hard every now and then. So again, let me know what you guys think. Peace, guys.